This aviation thriller wowed movie audiences in the 1920s. No sound, no special effects, but the flying ace flew off the screen. Classic Hollywood storyline, an action-packed struggle between good and evil. Except this drama includes an all-black cast made for black-only audiences. What a window this aviation film provides into a segregated world in the era of Jim Crow, where black people had to have separate facilities for washing and for riding buses and for eating in restaurants and going to the movies. Jeff Rapsis, executive director of the Aviation Museum in New Hampshire, recently held a screening of the silent film in honor of Black History Month. The Flying Ace is a rare example of what was called race cinema, movies that starred black people in positive, non-stereotypical roles. You can sort of see this world that's almost like a wish fulfillment. Uh, it's a world without racial prejudice, without discrimination, because everybody's the same race. They're all black. The main character, fighter pilot Billy Stokes, returns home to the U.S. as a World War I hero. That alone is quite startling because at the time there were no black military pilots allowed um, in, in the U.S. military. Billy Stokes resumes his job as a railroad detective, trying to solve the case of the missing money. During the investigation, there's a romantic entanglement and a dramatic rescue to save the girl. Well, there's all kinds of uh, some amazing adventure stunts and all that that would have thrilled the audiences of the time. Norman Studios in Jacksonville, Florida, produced eight race films from 1920 to 1928. But only the Flying Ace is known to have survived completely intact. I think um, the fact that it survives intact is why it's special. Um, it wasn't, at the time, anything other than just a typical film that was released to an audience to make some money and then move on to the next film. The Library of Congress added the movie to the National Film Registry in 2021. It's now a historic artifact. Jeff gives the 100-year-old film a voice. When he's not running the Aviation Museum, he's on the keyboard all over the country creating musical scores for silent films. Today's movies have soundtracks. During the silent film era, local musicians played live in theaters. I use a digital synthesizer rather than a theater organ, but it's the same thing. I'm on my own, and so I'm free to move in any way I want as the film uns unspools. So it is, it's very much improv based, and I come to a screening of, of any film, including The Flying Ace, uh, with no real preparation other than I have a stockpile of ideas and things that I've kind of built up in my head that I might call upon. He feeds off the audience from the moment the lights go down and the action comes up. A great crowd translates to an effective score. It just energizes me as the accompanist to be able to, to be a little more confident and maybe take some risks and try things that I might not otherwise do. At first, he keeps the music lighthearted. You want to keep it as light as you can for as long as you can because you want to have somewhere to go when something seriously serious happens. He builds up to the big moments, tension rising as the two rivals come to blows. It worked out really well because uh, they just sort of, it's a surprise when they go at each other and the music was able to come up and underscore that I thought very effectively. Like things have changed. The music changed and reflected that um, at that moment. In the end, the hero gets the girl. Airplane on fire, girl in distress, good guy lowers rope, girl escapes burning plane, just in the nick of time. Everybody just cheered. 
and everybody just let loose. And so these films work at that elemental level, uh, even today, 100 years later. 100 years ago, the excitement centered around flying. Aeronautics was just getting off the ground, and the general public, not just black audiences, couldn't get enough. It was a brand new thing, and Hollywood was making aviation films. The film Wings, which was made the year after, in 1927, won the very first Academy Award for Best Picture. It was an enormous hit. Beyond entertainment, The Flying Ace is a real window into a lost era and reminds us of how far we've come.